again, everyone. Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here to bring you some of the latest data on what is happening with the U.S. housing market and what is happening with the lumber prices, um, which come out every Friday. And the house market data comes out once a month for the month before. So like I've been saying, the uh, lumber prices that we publish every Friday can give you a good forward indicator of what might be to come with housing. So what we have right now is the uh, house price and home sales. And so let's have a look at the graph and then I'll explain a little bit more about um, the dynamics and what's happening on the ground with those markets. So this is the graph that I use every month with the uh, three benchmarks, softwood lumber, two by four, building prices. You can see the huge plummet from uh, spring until now. And the black line is the house prices. People will remember from my earlier videos in December, the median price of a new home in the U.S. was 290000 That kept rising until May when it was 374400 And just now in June dropped slightly to 361800 which is still really very high. There are a lot of indicators out of the U.S. and in Canada. Indeed, the two markets are moving together very closely ever since the past couple of years. Uh, that there is still room for more strength in home buying as the problem is the inventory of homes for sale is very weak. And so here we have the Western Spruce 2x4 price uh, manufactured at the highest volume used uh, across North America for home building. The uh, large plummet there from spring, um, totally unprecedented high. And then it looks like a little bit of recovery and then back down again in the previous week. So um, making it a little bit difficult to predict what is going to happen as this volatility, you know, as I said in other videos, the price would go up or down by $5 or $10, not by, you know, $100. However, there is indications um, from other criteria that the drop might be coming to an end. We'll only know as the uh, next few weeks uh, are upon us. So this is some really interesting data. The three colored lines are the same uh, two by four prices as the first graph. And here we have the black line now is new home sales. Some people are saying that the sales are dropping because the price is so high, but a lot of other people are saying it's actually the inventory of homes for sale that dropped. Uh, if there's not a lot of houses to choose from, the actual sales are slowing down. We'll have to see what happens over the next year, but the momentum of um, desire to buy is not stopping. And so we think into the future that black line will be going up again. Uh, once again, we have those uh, six benchmark construction framing prices instead of a graph as a table showing you the drops of the um, Western Spruce, that benchmark that I talk about. But look at that Southern Pine, the second line. That price is actually increasing. Like I said before, those top three items are interchangeable. They all meet the building standard. And so if the price of one gets up higher than the customer likes, they will choose another product. The uh, fourth line there is studs. You can't build a house without studs. That price is also softening. There are fewer stud mills than dimension lumber mills. Usually the producers are more disciplined. The price is not as volatile. Douglas fir is a specialty product. And then the bottom line there is plywood. Can't build a house without some kind of panel. That price is flat, which might tell us a thing. Okay, so you can see why I say that there is underpinning of uh, really continued home building and uh, therefore lumber sales activity. Uh, the numbers don't lie, and they do tell the story of what is happening. And so the, um, the lumber price data does show you in advance of what is happening with either uh, new home building or uh, new home sales, and is correlated you know, pretty well with the uh, home prices. Um, and this is a development uh, 
for the past couple of years. Um, I've been making these graphs and doing this analysis over that time and finding, you know, really nice correlation, letting us see in advance, um, you know, the lumber prices uh, come out a good six weeks before the uh, lag of the um, home um, activity data. And so in the middle of August, we would normally be, you know, getting quite slow for both the building and the uh, lumber sales and the softening of the lumber prices leading up into Labor Day and really starting to get, you know, quiet for the year. We don't know what's going to happen now uh, for the rest of this year. Uh, if um, the beginning of this year was any indication, starting 2022 will be strong and uh, the lumber sales uh, and the prices will uh, come out of uh, New Year's right off the bat increasing. What will happen with these wildfires that we have in BC right now? They're still going on right now and they're worse than last year and last year was like tragic. So um, it just it's impossible to tell and it doesn't really look good in terms of some of these things that um, add uncertainty. So check back with us regularly. Subscribe here if you just need um, these little snapshot updates. Uh, go on my website, madisonsreport.com. Uh, read up on these things that I uh, post on the YouTube. Uh, go under the subscribe menu on my website and fill out a form. I'll send you the uh, full uh, 450 lumber price uh, sample for that week. And uh, subscribe to the dashboard and get all of this information every Friday when it comes out instead of waiting for uh, when I have time to uh, put it on YouTube or write a story to put on my website. Okay, great.